Hey there, it's Max. So for today, I did a bit of like a character design challenge and I thought, you know what, I'm, I might as well upload this. So the challenge was basically make a Gajinka of any random object. Uh, a, a Gajinka, of course, is just an anthropomorphized version of uh, an object. So I chose a cassette tape because I thought um, I'd be able to mess around with some like fun vintage fashion, good colors, um, <laughs> drawing out different outfit pieces, different sunglasses, this jacket, trying to do some like fun sneakers. Um, definitely something that um, I don't do enough of is, is just like the costume piece element so I thought that this was a good excuse to practice that um, just thumbnailing some different poses I wanted them to be um, like sitting on a cassette tape leaning against it walking on top um, so so here we go I'm laying out with a perspective tool just getting my cassette tape figuring out okay like uh, there's gonna be a design on it how do I want the design here's the pose that I end up going with um, just roughing everything in and one thing that I definitely wanted is um, with the hair I, I wanted these sort of like side buns um, but with that little plastic bit the the um, I, I don't know if there's like a name for this part of the cassette but the little inside plastic piece where where um, it wind, like the tape winds around it the spool I don't know <laughs> what is that thing called but I wanted the hair to be the tape almost and and for it to be wrapped around this sort of inside decoration part and I started with the hair so big <laughs> just really really ridiculously big hair buns and uh, I shrink them down to be a little bit more reasonable um, and then you know I'm, I'm just laying in the jeans, the jacket, the sneakers, the pose. She's holding a Walkman and listening to music. So, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to think about that too much. It's like I, I have a big problem with um, anthropomorphized food. I really hate anthropomorphized food. It brings up way too many issues in my mind um grew up on veggie tales boy oh boy i don't want to think about um i don't want to think about them getting chopped up and tossed into a salad or uh you know eaten by <laughs> a human it's too concerning what do they eat they're vegetables they're sapient vegetables what do they eat? did they just photosynthesize they have mouths they have teeth uh this is a cassette tape. <laughs> this is a cassette tape. Um, and it's a person that looks, you know, maybe maybe they styled themselves after like that aesthetic. I think it's cool. They're leaning against a giant cassette tape though, is the thing. So there's a giant cassette tape, they're a cassette tape. They're listening to a cassette tape on a Walkman. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Um, I, <laughs> I have been doing a lot of, um, very like high effort stuff. And well, I wouldn't say that this is not high effort. I certainly worked hard on it. Um, I wanted something a bit more just comfy, cozy for me personally. So I'm just doing like my flat colors, some cell shading. I do eventually flatten it down to one layer so that I can uh, futz around with some other stuff. Um, but uh, you know, th this one, this one felt good, felt good to work on. There's certainly a lot to be said for. Um, pushing your abilities and then coming back to something that you're a little more comfortable with um, to see how you've changed and how you've progressed. Uh, of course, we're listening to the cassette tape Cool Jams because that's about as much thought as I put into naming my 
uh, my playlists. And uh, I wanted some like cracked plastic texture on this thing, you know, like, like this case has really been tossed around a lot. Uh, it's been sitting in your car for a long time and you just put it on repeat, you know, it's such a good mixtape. It's cool jams. Everybody loves cool jams. I think that this pretty much does it. I futz around with the hair. I wanted to do texture on the ground, but uh, it didn't really, didn't really make that much sense. And uh, there, there we have it. A little bit more detail in the box. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to see me turn another inanimate object into a person, or maybe turn a person into an inanimate object, or uh, if, if you want to learn more about my dark theories on Veggie Tales, <laughs> drop me a comment. Let me know what I should make next. And uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.